Are you looking for something? I'm looking for leaks in the dam. I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Is there anything I can do to help? Sure, stop that beast from gnawing at my dam. Where can I find the beast? I'd hunt round on the other side of the lake. Nobody ever goes there. That's probably where its den is. Did you build the dam? Yes, I built the dam back when we founded the new camp. Of course everyone helped, but I was the master builder. And where do you want to go? Why, in there? Forget it. Silas only wants to see scrapers and rogues in his bar. Maybe. I'm a scraper, and I'm thirsty. You don't look like no scraper. You won't get in here like that, boy. something about that story after all. Well, hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. Hang on. Are you deaf or I'm what? Not listening to all that blathering anymore. You shouldn't believe everything. Hey, a new face! Who are you? I am Gorn, mercenary of the magicians. You have to watch what you tell me. What do you have to do as a mercenary of the magicians? Lee has made a deal with the magicians. He hires the best fighters to be found in the colony, which means us. We take care that the scrapers can mine the ore without being bothered and keep trouble away from the magicians. The magicians make sure we'll get out of here and we get a small share of the ore as our pay. Can I stay somewhere here without having to kick somebody out of his hut? I don't think so. But if that's really what you want to do, go and see Shrike. He's taken the hut right at the front, at the entrance to the cave. It was empty, but it really belonged to us. Us? Well, us mercenaries. Mercenaries and rogues live separately here. And none of Laris's gang should be here, on this side of the big hall. It doesn't make much difference, really, but he didn't ask. And you can't let those rogues get away with everything, because then they get real cocky. What do I have to do to join the new camp? Before Lee admits you, you'll have to improve your fighting skills. It doesn't matter what weapon you use, but you have to be good. Besides, you should be very experienced with the life here and everything. If you don't want to go to the other camps, you should try to join the rogues before you start as a mercenary. See you later! How are things? Get lost!
You okay? All's quiet for now. For now? If the rogues keep on attacking Gomez's convoys, it won't be long before him and his army come knocking down the gates. And that's not gonna be much fun. Is there any trouble in this camp? Man, there's always trouble. The rogues do as they please, and we mercenaries have to shield the majors and defend the camp. I want to become a mercenary for the mages. That's not so hard. If you're prepared to fight for our cause, Lee's bound to take you on. But he only takes people who are good with a sword. Well, are you? Well... I thought so. If you're really serious, talk to Gorn. He's trained newcomers before. Maybe you'll be lucky, and he'll take the time to train you. Where can I find Laris? Right at the back, on the left-hand side of the big cave. You can't miss it. As soon as this guy stops you, you'll know you found him. Who are you? I'm Torloff. I was involved in a mutiny as mate of a royal warship. It wasn't such a good idea. The greater part of the crew was on the captain's side. That's how I came to be here. I'd like to join you. Lee won't take you on until you get real good. I'm telling you now. And until then, you'd better stay on good terms with Laris and his crowd. You want some advice, boy? Steal something important from the old camp, or the old mine. As soon as the boys notice that you're against Gomez, you won't have any more trouble here. And how do I do that? You need to win their trust, and then you can rip them off. Do you need another good man? We won't have anyone join the mercenaries unless they've been here for years and have had a lot of experience. If you want to stay in the camp, you'll have to get to grips with the rogues first. Do you know where you're heading? Where? You're heading straight for Lee, our leader. What do I need to do to make you let me see Lee? Nothing. This isn't the old camp, and Lee isn't Gomez. He doesn't need an army of henchmen to hide behind. He can defend himself. We are only here in case he needs us. Stop! Nobody may pass without the password. Where can I get a bow here? You've come to the right address for that. I offer good value for good ore. How do I get furs and skins? On the way to the new camp, you'll come across Aiden. He can teach you how to skin animals. Radford and Drax are hanging around in the north of the old camp. It's on the way to the trading square.
Hi, who are you? That's none of your business. I don't like your mug. Shh, hey you. Who? Me? Exactly. Come over here. What do you want? You've just arrived, haven't you? I noticed it straight away. There are a lot of things you need to know. I can teach you a few things. Besides, you have to watch who you talk to. Butch, for example. That's the guy over there, next to the campfire. Be aware of him. What's the matter with Butch? He has the mean habit of beating up the new ones. So you better avoid meeting him. What can you teach me? It depends. What do you want to know? You shouldn't believe everything you hear. You're from the sect camp, aren't you? We call it the Brotherhood. I'm Baal Kagan. The sleep will be with you. What are you doing here? Originally, I was sent here to convince people to join our Brotherhood. But these barbarians are not interested in spiritual enlightenment. Therefore, I'm restricted to selling swamp weed. And that is a popular occupation here. Too popular. I can already deliver as much as they want to have. Why don't they send an extra man here? Bal Isidro was meant to help me, but he just spends all day in the bar on the lake and trades his wheat for rice schnapps. He's addicted to the spirit. I fear I cannot expect any help from him. I could help you sell your weed to the people. I can only entrust such a large amount of weed to members of the Brotherhood. But you could help me give out gifts. Not everybody has tasted my goods yet. As soon as they've tried the weed, they'll want more, which means I can sell more. I thought you could hardly manage to do your tasks now. Bal Isidro will be taken care of soon. I've already sent a message to Kor Kalam. What's in it for me if I hand out the weed for you? I can reward you in many different ways. You can get magic spell scrolls from me. Bearing the powerful magic of the sleeper. Or I can help you join our community if that's what you want. I have very good contacts to Kor Kalam and Baal Tion. Both are very close to E. Baryon, our master. I can pay you with plain ore as well if you prefer. A hundred nuggets should be enough for your efforts. Okay, give me the weed. Who do you want me to give it to? You're sure to find someone who'll take it. Talk to people, but only give one stalk to each person. Uh, one more thing. If you let somebody take the weed from you or if you smoke it yourself, our deal ceases to exist. Sure. <laughs>